So finally, in today's video, we're gonna go on and deploy our Mern Stack Chat application on Heroku. So if you're not yet following this playlist up until this point, the link to the complete playlist will be in the description below. So I've opened our project folder over here in the VS Code and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to backend and server.js and over here, right below our routes, I'm gonna import a variable called dirname. And since dir name is already registered, if I'm not wrong, in the node, so I'm gonna name it dir name one So what is this variable? So this variable signifies the current working directory. So I'm just gonna first do this. Deployment. So that I can keep the deployment code separate from the rest of the code. All right. So this will take path dot resolve. And this path module comes from Node.js. Path, just like that. Now, since we are preparing our app for the production, we're gonna use a .env variable called node.env and we're gonna set it to the production mode. So let me first define that variable. So I'm gonna name it node.env and I'm gonna name it production. So if we want to keep it in the development mode, we can name it development, but I'm gonna name it production for now since I'm preparing it for the production. So I'm gonna check if process.env.node.env is equals to production. Then we're gonna write our production code inside of it. Else, else let's just do this. app.get slash API running successfully. All right, now instead of it, I'm gonna say app dot use express dot static. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you everything. Let me write it out real quick and then I'm gonna tell you what's going on over here. Pass dot join and I'm gonna take dir name and I'm gonna join it with the build folder of our project. So front end slash build. So what I'm doing over here is I'm establishing the path from the current working directory to the build folder of our front end. So if you don't know what build folder is, so if we go to inside of our front end, if we want to build our React project, we can go to the terminal and switch to front end and say npm run build. This will start a production grade build of our app. Now, meanwhile, it's building. What I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna write a API call. So app dot get, and I'm gonna get the content inside of the index.html of our front end build folder. So let me just write it out real quick. So I'm gonna say strings for everything. Request comma response. And inside of it, I'm gonna say response dot send file. So I want to send this file to our front end when our app is successfully running. What we want to do is we want to run that index.html file, which will be inside of our build folder. So let's wait for this build command to get completed. Then I'll show you what we're going to do. You can see that it has started creating an optimized production build. 2000 years later. Okay, so finally our build has completed. Now if you go inside of the build folder, you're gonna see there's a file called index.html, which contains the minified code for our app. So what we're gonna do over here is path.resolve from the current directory, dir name one to, we're gonna go inside the front end, and then start the build folder. And then we will have the index.html file. So yeah, that's all that we needed to do. And now our app is ready to be hosted on Heroku. But let's before that, let me show you how this app is gonna work. So if I go on and inside of our package.json, I have this script for starting our server. So if I type npm start, now you're gonna notice Oops, not in the front end. I mean, let's go to the back end and now let's start it. Now, since our app is in the production mode, instead of showing us API is running, it should show us the index.js file. It should serve us the index.js file. So let's wait for it to start. 
All right, let's go to the browser and run localhost 5000. Okay, it still shows API is running successfully. Let me see what went wrong. Instead of running with uh, node one, I'll just try to run with just node. So backend slash server JS. Mm, okay, let's see. All right, awesome. In the local host 5000, our app is running successfully. Let me try to log in. Great, our app has logged in successfully as well. Cool, so everything is working fine as expected. So let's go on and deploy it on Heroku. So I'm gonna go and search Heroku. And there we go, heroku.com. Now, if you don't have an account, you can go on and sign up, or if you have an account, you can go on and log in. So I have an account, so I'm gonna go and log in. Here we go, we have successfully logged into our Heroku account. Now here you can see that I've already deployed a few apps on Heroku, but you don't need to worry about all of that. So first of all, to use Heroku, we need to install Heroku into our PC. So I'm gonna go to Google and type Heroku client. Oops, hey, Heroku client. And go to the first link. And here you can find the instruction to install Heroku on your system. So if you're on Mac OS, you can use the Homebrew to install Heroku. And, or if you're on the Windows like me, you can use this installer 64-bit or 32-bit according to your PC. So I've already installed Heroku. So I'm gonna go back to our code and do Heroku login. Now I would recommend to restart your VS Code real quick so that Heroku installer changes take effect. So I'm gonna say Heroku login and press enter. Now, okay, press any key. It's gonna take us to the browser and Make us log in. Okay, I'm logged in so I can close this now. All right, cool, we are logged in. Now after this, we need to create a new project on Heroku. For that, we will type Heroku, create, and then the name of our app. So I'm gonna say Mern Talkative and press enter. All right, awesome, our project has been created. Let's click on this link. And it takes us to this website, which is obviously empty now because we haven't pushed our app to Heroku. So let's close this now. Now, before moving forward, I would like to do one thing. Actually, two things I noticed that I haven't provided the port over here. I've just provided 5,000. 5, so it's better to provide port. Otherwise your app will fail because sometimes Heroku provides its own port number to us. So yeah, that's why. And also one more thing for the socket IO to work efficiently. Uh, if I don't know if you remember or not, but in previous video, I told you in one of the previous videos that we need to replace this link with our Heroku link. So the Heroku link that we got over here, I'm gonna take this and replace this with this so that this is going to be our production URL, not localhost 5000. Awesome, so everything looks good. Now, before deploying to Heroku, we need to create a proc file. So this is for the Heroku's internal configuration. So proc file, and inside of this, we're gonna tell Heroku what command to run. So I'm gonna say web, oops, web node backend slash server dot js. So this is how our server will run. All right, cool, so let's close this now. Now, as I already showed you, we have we have a build folder over here, which we will push to Heroku while deploying our app. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add a script in package.json so that every time we push our project, this builds our front end at the runtime. So let me show you. So I'm gonna add this script. So what this script is basically doing is, this post build script, it says that go to front end folder and install all of the dependencies and then npm run build, then that is build the project. Cool, so that is what we needed to do. Now I hope throughout this course you were using the git to store your code on platforms like GitHub or Bitbucket or whatever that you like to use. So if you're not using, no worries, I'm gonna go on and push my code as well right now so you can follow along. But before that, what I want you to do is go inside of your frontend folder and there will be a .git ignore file. This file basically tells us what not to push into GitHub. So we're gonna take this file and drag it out to our root directory. And now inside of this, I'm gonna add two lines. 
So we need to ignore front end node modules folder and the build folder. We don't want both of these things to be pushed into our Git. So now we're good to go. Let's go back to Heroku and let's see if our app has been created or not. Uh, yep, there we go. Now I'm gonna go to deploy and over here you're gonna find all the commands to deploy uh, your app. So I'm gonna initialize a new Git repository. So I'm gonna copy this Git in it. Okay, initialized. And then I'm gonna set the remote. There we go. Now let's add everything that is stage everything to the Git by git add dot and also commit by pasting this command. Cool, now the final step is to push it to our Heroku. But before doing that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our settings and set our environment variables. So I'm gonna click on reveal config vars and inside of this, I'm gonna give all of my environment variables from .env file. So except port, I'm gonna copy all of these variables. Awesome, so we're done with this. Now let's go on and run our final command. That was git push Heroku master. If you are pushing on GitHub, so obviously you would do git push origin master or something like that. But we have set the origin for our Heroku repository. So we're gonna do git push Heroku master. So let's see what happens now. Now you can see it has started doing some process over here. So let's find out. Okay, it's creating a runtime environment and installing the binaries, cool. And now you can see that it is running our script, our post build script. Now don't worry if this process fails for you for some reason, I will tell you another way of deploying the Heroku app. So stick with the video. Now you can see it is creating an optimized production build. And there we go, our app has been successfully deployed. Let's go on and test this out. Let's click on this link. And amazing, our app is working successfully fine. Let's test this out. Okay, we are successfully logged in and let's try to send testing. Awesome, so uh, everything is working absolutely fine. Let, let me just test out a uh, socket IO real quick. So I've logged in with another user over here and let's try to send hello. And you can see we got the notification. Awesome, it's working flawlessly. Hi, great. So our app is working successfully fine and it is deployed successfully. Hit the like on this video if you're happy with what you have built and successfully deployed. Now you can go on and share your app with your friends and family. But wait, if this process failed for you, if this post build script failed for you, I will tell you another process. So all you need to do is just go to git ignore file and remove this slash frontend slash build. And also you can remove this post build script as well and then simply push your build folder along with this repository. So all you need to do is just go inside the frontend. So cd frontend and run npm run build manually and then go on and push it to Heroku. So yep, that was our Mernstack chat app series. I hope you have enjoyed this series as much as I have creating this series. So subscribe to the channel for more such future tutorials and don't forget to press that bell icon as well because it motivates me a lot to make more such awesome tutorial series. And also do comment down below what feature you like most about this app. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.